Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn about data filters in triggers. So what is a data filter in triggers? It will be pretty clear after you see this question. How to create a data filters in UiPath integration service wherein an automation process should trigger? Look at the question. Wherein an automation process should trigger when a file is created with the name employee onboarding inside the folder named UiPath test folder in Microsoft OneDrive. So the question is telling you, you should create a trigger and it, the trigger should start an automation only when a file with the name employee or onboarding is created and that should be only inside this UiPath test folder. If you create this kind of a file elsewhere, it should not. It should be created in this folder and in OneDrive. How you can create such a trigger? Let's see in detail. This will be pretty interesting. So do not skip the video. You will learn a lot. So let's get started. For this, you should have a proper connection built on Microsoft OneDrive. I have already connected. This thing I have shown at, I think, almost two times in my previous videos, and you must be knowing how to connect. So here, my Microsoft OneDrive is connected. I'm going to click on triggers, and I'm going to teach you how can you achieve that specific requirement inside the triggers section. For this, all you have to do, click on add trigger. And then you need to select your connection. We are dealing with which application? OneDrive. So let's type OneDrive and select our connection. And the collection is auto selected because you have already built a connection. Next thing, let's create the event. So what kind of an event will you select here? The file creation. When a file getting created, that is where you should, the event should get triggered. So here I would select file created out of all these options. Next, where it is happening on your drive. Remember this connector is flexible also to work with shared points, shared with me groups and a lot of other things. I'm going to select OneDrive and hit on save. Now select an automation. In the previous video, I have shown you how do you create this kind of automation and link it with a trigger and how do you start the trigger and all of those things I've covered. Now let me select one of the trigger. And then let me select the license as production unattended. And then these are the in arguments. In detail, I have covered in the previous video, very important topic. I hope you have already seen and learned that. Here we will be focusing on data filters. So what is the condition? I'm going to teach you creating multiple different conditions. So the very first thing, I'm going to create an add condition. Let me show you my OneDrive. So this is my OneDrive where I have a folder called UiPath test folder. And there, let me delete the previously created files. So here the condition is inside this folder, if anyone creates employee onboarding, let me write the name here, employee onboarding, XLX file, not even a Word document, if it is a Excel file, only then the trigger should happen. So how do you do that? Let's go back to integration service. And here in the data filter, the very first thing I'm going to select the folder. Folder equals to, and what is the name of the folder? Click on this, select OneDrive, double click on that, and UiPath test folder. This is my folder name. So the very first thing what I'm doing, I am selecting the folder name based on my data filter condition. And the next condition is the file name should be equals to employee onboarding, and it should be an Excel file. For that, what you can do, we can click on add condition. Click on this drop down and select name, the file name. Okay, I'm going to select name. And here the condition I would say equals. And remember, when you are very specific about a file, ensure you are also putting the extension of it. It could be a Word document. You don't want your automation to start when it's a Word document. It has to be an Excel file, let's say. In such a condition, it is recommended that you also place that extension inside in your condition. And after that, simply hit on add trigger. 
so likewise you can create multiple conditions on different different applications and depending on the need so this is one of the example so here what happened data filter all of the conditions are met then only the trigger will start and start this process called quick testing 3 inside my it department projects folder okay and what is the second what are the conditions we have provided for the data filter folder equals to uipath test folder it should be uipath test folder only and the name should be equals to employee onboarding xlx file if somebody is creating a word document it should not so let's test it so our trigger is created and it is active let's go back to the folder let's go back to the trigger and you can see the trigger is active now it is just waiting to see if somebody is creating a folder or not for example let's first do one thing let's go one step back so i am in my onedrive i am not inside the uipath test folder let's create a file outside of the test folder what name i will give i'll give the name as employee onboarding because it is excel file no need to write the extension in the name simply you say employee onboarding and click outside so here i have created a file called employee onboarding and this file got created outside of the test folder now you will see even though the trigger is active because of the condition the trigger will not run because the, what is the condition we have done view trigger so the condition is it should be first it should be inside the test folder so this condition is not met so the trigger will not run it will not going to run okay now let's do one thing let's go inside uipath test folder okay and here let us create a different kind of a file let's say what document i am creating and i'll give the same name i'm going to give the same name here i'll click on this document select control v employee onboarding and then i'm going to click outside so the file is got created now but again this file is of a docx now you will see if you wait for some time even this trigger won't work it's not going to start the automation now let's do the final check click on add new and let us create the excel workbook because our condition is xlsx which is a excel file excel extension now let me go to book 2 and rename it to employee onboarding now you see the moment i have created and closed it what would happen because the polling interval is one minute within one minute because the file is already created within one minute what would happen because that is my polling interval i have set so within one minute the automation should kick start let me show you the polling interval let me go back one step back connection click here so here the polling interval is one minute so within the next one minute you know it will it is going to check if some file is getting created or not all right so that happens internally within any time within this one minute the trigger should automatically start okay let's go back triggers okay you can see it has started you can see this has come right the ui path event connector is uipath microsoft onedrive this i have taught in my previous video then the event is file created and the object got created is a file okay and this is the id of that file so you can see the automation has kick started quick testing is finished so that is the process automation has automatically started with this example you have pretty well seen within onedrive within a particular folder if a particular file is getting created, how do you create a data filter within UiPath integration service for your triggers that you have learned in detail? In case this video has helped you to learn something new, give it a like and do share it with your friends and keep commenting if this video is helpful for you. Thank you guys for watching. Let's move on to our next topic.